Hello Comics People, kasama ko si Doc Carlo And Gius Desgiao <laughs> And nandito kami sa Philippine Book Festival sa World Trade Center Ayan. So nandito kami sa samahang kartunista ng Pilipinas Table uh, Booth, kung gusto niyo mapanood yung previous episodes ni Doc Carlo Na diniscuss niya yung comics niya na Halos Comics Nandun lang yun sa, nandun lang yun sa Indie Comics Podcast sa YouTube channel Ayan. So Doc Carlo, ang pag-usapan natin today is about convention life Convention life, ang convention life ay exciting kay saya. Bakit kung egress na luluha kang talaga <laughs> kasi walang benta. Ang dami mo pang dala. Oo. Oh, oh. So, Doc Arlon, kailan ka unang nag-convention, yung comics convention? Ah, ano ano ko yan? My first convention, Metro Comic Con 2010. So, ano yung mga... Uh, so, how was your first sa Mega Mall? Sa Mega Mall yun. Mega Mall, uh, how was your first experience nung uh, convention doc na an- ano yung tumatak sa iyo na experience nung uh, um yung mind very well, uh inexpect mo ba na ganun? Ah ganito pala yung ano convention. Um it, in some ways oh in some ways in the um surprise yung uh very welcoming lahat eh. Lahat, whether independent artist or professional uh, uh, veterans, welcoming lahat sa, sa aming mga bago eh. Although a lot of my uh, webcomic friends based abroad gave a lot of advice to me to, uh, on what to expect. Tapos uh, mar- marami din comic enthusiast dati na may blog. So binasa ko lahat yan. So I told you what to expect. Parang ganyan. Ano yung mga binigay sa yung tips ng mga nasa abroad mong friends? Uh, just to be ano, uh, just to be confident, act professional. Um, pati yung pag setup ng uh, table uh, to have yung mga parang tarpaulin na ganito. Uh, that was their advice, and I took it. Um, tapos I think ako lang chaka sa pasigur ng may ganyan uh, back in Metro Comic Con 2010. Sino, sino yung mga katabi mo na naalala mo pa? Yes, um, sa kanan ko sila, ano, uh, si Yobo, si... Silence. Hindi, si uh, Norby, Norby Ella. Ah, si Nor- oh, si Norby. Uh, so, Norby Ella. Uh, on the other side, si Andrew Villar. Andrew Villar was actually my uh, my first comics friend that I made. And then, kasama din niya si Ado, Aparentado. Yung uh, duya ng mga mga giting. Unfortunately, uh, both of them have since left us. Signboard. And then, um, yeah, then uh, along, along the table, the other uh, Manila Bulletin cartoonists at the time, si, si Hazel Manzano, mm. si, uh, uh, si Ariel. Ariel. Uh, Chenza. Uh, Chenza. Anong mas nauna? Yung napunta ka sa bulletin o yung web? Comics. Ay, web comics. Uh, my, my web comics started 1997. So, uh, oh. May drone. <laughs> so my web comic started in 1997, um, and then there was maybe a four-year hiatus. That's a uh, my medicine ko. And then uh, I got back into making daily web uh, daily web comic strips in 2009. Pero college ka ba nung ano? Or resident ka nung? College ako nung 97. Uh, yung 2009 or resident ako nung. <laughs> Resident trainee in nuclear medicine. May, uh, buti pa si Mel Maceo. May bawi na lang tayo. Selling these. Well, this is something new for a convention for me. May mga drones na lumilipad. It's not the other book I'm selling. Pero but, dati na nanalo ko pa sa ano eh. Yung naalala ko, nanalo ka ng best booth sa ano. Unang indicate. Um, oh. Best booth? No, no, not best booth. Uh, most sales. Most sales. Oh, most uh, sales monetarily. Oh, uh, tama. Oh, kasi may libre kang table oh, li- sa main table. hall. Oh, sa main hall. Naalala ko yung ginagawa ko rin goal yun eh. Dahil ginagaya ko yung mga nakikita ko sa website ni Doc Carlo. <laughs> Kali, dapat meron din sa website ko. Kaya peg ko rin si Doc Carlo eh. Oh, wow. Nag-web comics siya, tapos doktor siya. Tapos ako, artist ako, hindi ako makapag-comics. <laughs> Nangihing ano, motivation. Oh, wow. Okay. Yung naging motivation ko. Kaya, hindi ko, pag hindi ako titigil hanggang hindi tumitigil si Sir Carlo eh. Kapag may Sir Carlo, <laughs> may Gio. May Gio. Oh, wow. I'm touched. Thank Ito you. Ito nga, doktor eh, na kapag, ano, <laughs> artist, hindi ako makapag-comics. Diba? 
Kaya yun, naging ano, target. Kaya lahat, yung, pag sa website niya, may widget. Ay, dapat may widget din ako. Ay, mayroong, may donate, donate PayPal. Ay, dapat may donate PayPal din ako. <laughs> Pero walang donate. Wala, wala, wala nang donate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Nag-ano din ako yung coffee. Wala din nagbibigay. Wala rin. <laughs> oh, ako rin, may coffee. Wala, wala nang yan. Although nowadays, I think it's a, it's a different environment. Um, you have to work work for it eh, yung mga donations and mm. give them something in return so hindi siya talaga donation you're paying for something yung loyalty program hindi yung ano yung Patreon Patreon, Patreon yeah. may rewards rewards yeah. meron akong Patreon eh meron nagbibigay sa akin ng one dollar every month oh, wow. classmate ko dati high school <laughs> nasa Amerika kahit na yung isang kong thirty dollars pa rin sa bagay oh, pero back in maybe 2011 to 20 Uh, 14 siguro um, malaking kita ko sa website advertising eh. mm. kasi nakaka oh. uh, nakaka 4,000 hits ako per day wow and then um, but I had to work for those 4,000 hits ako ginagawa ko natin sumasali ako ng mga comics group tapos post lang ako ng post dun kada post ko sa site ko post ako dun sa mga group na yun oh yeah, yeah. Na. Uh, Sige, get, I do that now oh. parang ang labas ko na is pambot na ako eh kasi pinipi-copy-paste ko lang yung mga link dun sa mga yeah. website. Yung ibang, ano, yung ibang member, parang ito, lagi-lagi nila lang po po, natatakpan yung ano ko. <laughs> eh, pero iba-ibang lahi yun eh. Mm. Eh, ikaw, anong naging challenges mo nung nag-start ka? Um, just getting people to read my work. Kasi um, yung thinking ko dati, basta ka, going to yung website ko, post ko yung comics, okay na. Wala na akong gagawin. But uh, uh, it wasn't until much later on that I realized that uh, maybe 80% of the work of a cart- of an independent cartoonist is marketing. Talaga. Oh, marketing. Uh, 80% of the work. Your talent, mo, five to ten percent lang yan. Uh, I did. I looked for every free way online to advertise my website and my comics, and then um, then I was very very active on Twitter, which was the king back then. And that's how I got my following uh, online, at least at, at the, uh, during those times. So. But I would use uh, other websites also like Reddit uh, that they may stumble upon. Stumble upon was, uh, was a big help before. Um, but Reddit, that uh, post malang jan automatic 300 hits na yan. Yung hirap talagang sa Reddit niya yan eh. Yeah, yeah, mahirap sa Reddit kaya yan. Tsaka dati... Hindi ko pa rin naiibigyan ng Reddit. Ako naman ako sa Reddit. Kasi ina-upload ko yung sarili kong post. Ay, ginagawa ko rin naman eh. Parang sobrang dalas kong mag-ano. Ginan na ko nung ano, yung account ko. Oh, really? Oo. Doon sa... Sa Reddit. Comics? Comics subreddit? Or webcomics subreddit? Kaka-post ko, di ba pa-post ka. Tapos ako rin yung mag-upload. Ina-upload ko lahat ng post ko. Siguro ganun. Ah, yung karma okay. ko ako lang na... Uh, Doon may karma. Pero napansin mo din yung, 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 yung pag, pagbabago na. Si God. <laughs> yung pagbabago nung trend ng comics. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, yung... Yes. Uh, especially with web comics. Uh, the way it works is very different from when I started uh, taking it seriously. So we're about 2009 to 2012. It's very different from how it is today. Uh, today is actually it's it's much much easier to get your work out there, uh, but it's also much harder for people to find you. Uh, so, mapansin ka ng iba. Because it's so easy. It's so easy that everyone can do it. Um, but now it's harder for you to stand out. So, may nagsabi sa akin mo ano kasi bakit English yung comics mo? Kasi ko para mas mas sige na gaya nga kita English yung comics mo. Uh, para mas ano kay mas makuha mo yung the internet nga mas makuha mo yung ibang lahi yung yeah, ibang yeah, yeah. Pero sabi niya pati mo na lang inuna yung Pilipino kasi di ba dito ko maiinom diyan. Kasi yun din yung sinabi sa akin ni Sir Ronnie na dapat i-taglish mo kasi yung lumalabas sa diaryo, Philippine diaryo eh. So para mas marami kang mas maraming magbabasa. Uh, um, actually yes, si Sir Ronnie sinabi din niya sa akin yun before. Um, but then na realize niya, I think yung value uh, na, na English siya. Kasi binawi niya eh, parang just do do whatever you're doing na lang. Pero nag-try ka ng Tagalog. Oo. So, oh. Okay. Pero hindi mo na, parang hindi mo voice yung... Oh, I don't know kung ano yung reason niya, pero okay. sabi niya, it's a, oh, English na. 
akala ko ano parang mas suitable sa iyo kasi mas comfortable ka sa English. It might be because of the the actual setting na uh, na kasi hospital uh, clinic doctor ganyan. Baka mas uh, I guess mas bagay ang English di ko di ko masabi. Um, but yes, the uh, same reason as you kaya, kaya siya English dahil web comic siya. Mm. Wala, wala, wala pa naman siya sa Jara before eh. So, the international yung hmm. target audience ko. Ako, nag-taglish na lang ako eh. To compensate na lang yung bat- mga bata yung naging English. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Sa kulay Tagalog. Pero mas madali na siya ng akin ngayon. Kasi yung Tagalog talaga ako mag-do. Hmm. Kasi na- nalalagay ako ng mga Tagalog bags. Ikaw, paano ka nag-iisip ng do? Anong may process ka ba? Kailangan mo bumuna ng experience? Um, yeah, parang may experience muna and then try to put a humorous twist on it. Ang maganda nga, mag- maganda nga sa pagiging um, cartoonist ako tsaka doctor, yung uh, parang makagawa ka ng content, parang force ka to find a humorous uh, twist on on your everyday life sa mga nangyayari. Ang uh, in a whole back ko lang yung making fun of patients, I don't do that. Hindi uh-huh. uh, ko ginagawa talaga. But... Um, Everything else is a uh, mga kong doctor, I make, make fun of them, or me, uh, or the practice of medicine, or just living, living life. Marami din, ano, makakuha, and then you try to put uh, a humorous twist on it. And that, uh, uh, having the habit of doing that, talagang, uh, it makes your day better. Uh, so, Ito pala, trivia lang, ha? si Dr. Carlo, nagbo-voice over din siya. Yeah. So, nag- yung isang event dati, nag, ikaw yung naging MC nun eh. Yung sa DT Macon. Yung, ah, yung yeah. Yung <laughs> Ako yung nag-announce ng sponsors. Oh. <laughs> Tsaka, nag-ano rin siya, talent din siya. Mayroon siya sa Zesto Commercial. Oh my God. <laughs> eh, oh, totoo yun. Talent model talent. Multi, <laughs> multi. Uh, yeah, multi-faceted. Uh, hindi lang siya doktor, hindi lang siya cartoonist. So, Dr. Carlo, ano yung napansin mong iba sa local convention compared to international like Singapore and US convention? Uh, diba kasi ka nga nang man nag ano eh? Yeah, sa, sa US, sa Seattle, tsaka sa Singapore. Uh, um, I'm happy to say na halos walang difference. Mm. Uh, kung ano yung language ng pop culture geek dito, ganun din abroad. Hindi lang ang Tagalog pero, or Filipino language. Pero uh, the people are the same. So, well, may may. <laughs> so, you feel at home talaga if you do uh, a, a convention abroad. May mga small differences lang siguro, pero all in all, it's almost the same experience. Pero napapansin ko madalas kang mag-commission sa, ano, sa abroad. Abroad, oh. For some reason, hit na hit yung commissions ko abroad, pero dito hindi. <laughs> More on fun art yung pinapagawa sa'yo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Family-friendly stuff. So. Tiniisto ko kasi si Doc eh. <laughs> May nagpagawa na ba ng ano, not safe for work? Yes, isa. Um, hindi lang yun furry. <laughs> Pero uh, y- yung ginawa kong, y- y- safe for work pa rin yung ginawa ko. To his, both his disappointment and delight. Kasi h- hindi yan yung habol niya. Pero sobrang nagustuhan niya yung ginawa ko. So, <laughs> Kaya yung art style mo, hindi naman siya, ano eh, slotty tignan eh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very family friendly yung ano eh. Well, that's, that's, that's intentional. Um, even in, with, with the comics that I write, na, uh, nilalagay ko talaga sa script na don't sexualize the characters. Mm. Ganyan. So, well, actually, di ba may kukang siya yung mouse? Kaya yeah, mouse, tsaka, um, Immortal Wings. Yun. Uh, Immortal Wings, Rod. Oh, Rod Espinosa, tapos yung mouse si Pilar, Pilar. Uh, Esmer. Esmer. Uh, Esmer. Yeah. So, Dr. Carlo, anong advice mo sa mga magkukonvention ng newbies? Uh, the best I- advice I can give is just do it. No? Um, malamang you'll make mistakes, but you'll learn from them then. Just keep at it. Uh, no one no one started off 
uh, perfect. And then uh, even today, kahit ako hindi perfect. So may, may mga alam ko pa bang sorry ah. Mm-hmm. May mga alam ko pa bang ibang medical comics maliban sa oh, yeah. kay Tepay uh, na Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Kitik ka ba? Kitik ka ba? Um yeah, marami actually. Uh there's co- comic nurse. Uh, pero most of them are made abroad. Um, you know, uh, there's there's a whole group of us called uh, the graphic medicine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of us are either uh, have some connection with the, with the healthcare industry, and we make comics to uh, relay our experience, whether as a patient or as a healthcare worker, or uh, or just someone going through a. A healthcare problem. Manami, manami ng uh, medical medical comics out there. Nalalala ko rin dati meron kami yung sa sa, sa universe ni Rian at ni Nicole. Meron kang ano eh, naging una sila sa sa world ng mga ducks. Yes, so, uh, 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 in fantasy. Uh, 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 anong ano ba doon? Anong paano mo siya ginawa? Paano mo siya generate na gumawa ng world? Uh, Well, back then, uh, wala pa sa Jari yung Galos. Uh, purely webcomic siya. Eh, sobrang mahilig naman ako talaga sa fantasy genre. Uh, eh, since I have these fantastic characters, itong docs, and then I, I thought, what if what if uh, I have my character go into their world? Hindi yeah. um, ko alam na may turn pala siya yung isekai. I didn't know na, na thing pala siya. Pero... Um, Yeah, we had this big uh, adventure. Uh, we had this big adventure in the world of the Guardian Ducks, and then uh, I made it a thing. Uh, uh, parang yung world ng Guardian Ducks, the midway uh, gateway to other, I don't know, other worlds. Parang kada tawo ko sa kanya the interrealms. So that made it possible for my characters to have crossovers with uh, other, with other comics. Mm-hmm. So, may explanation pala. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi may espada si Rian doon eh. No, 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 may espada si Red Scaffold Fast. Uh, ano, dito, dito na tayo tumanda sa pagka-convention eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano yung memorable na experience sa pagka-convention? Uh, no, the best memories I have, yung meeting my, ano, my fellow comic creator colleagues. Tapos uh, I'm happy to say na most if not all, Uh, I, I can consider friends. I think uh, it it made it really enriched my life no, a lot more uh, coming into the world of Philippine comics and comics abroad. And um, I'm very very grateful for that. I'm happy that I did that jump. It's a risk risky, but to, to especially with your first comic convention, you feel uh, very risky to do it. But I'm glad I did it. So, yeah. Oh, ako mostly na mga friends ko na dito na eh. So, no, no, no. After work friends wala na. Kasi <laughs> busy na rin yung sa time yung mga high school friends mo medyo mahirap no, na rin yung schedule. Uh, Pero pag comics, pag sila yung nakasama ko, oh lunch, automatic lunch. Lunch kayo kay after ng event, dinner. Yeah. Yan, eh. yeah. Uh-huh. Yung people use use. Kaya ka lang, minsan kaya ka nalang pupunta ng convention just to meet people, like-minded people na ngayon. Yeah, exactly. Comic stuff. Usapan natin. Ano? Yeah. And who would have thought na no, no, I, I would be friends with Paul Medina Jr. or Lyndon Gregorio over there or Mel Kasipit <laughs> or Gio's Desk. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I never thought I, I would be in this position in life and I'm very, very grateful. Yeah, ayun. Uh, ano, final words, Mel? Okay. Uh, final words ito. The end. Thank you, thank you, Comics People. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you Doc. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. You're welcome. Indie Comics Podcast.